It's not been long since people started using the term differently abled instead of disabled. Some good souls took courage to ask what their disability was and they had to fight a long way to bring a change. Can we say that the change is completely successful? I guess not. There are a lot of things wrong with human minds. One of them is sticking to conventions. Not accepting change or being able to have a wider perspective to things is the most problematic issue with the society. There should be a perfect proportion to everybody's body. There should be a particular gender assigned to a person. There should be a perfectly healthy body for humans. Who writes these rules? And how ridiculous is that? Every human will suffer illness in their lifetime, ranging from a fever to cancer. The gravity of these illnesses vary. Why is disability not treated like that? No one chooses to be disabled and they can't change their condition. What should we do as a society? We should help them embrace them as they are. Reports say that disabled people battle depression and attempt suicide in alarming rates. Now, is that astonishing? Because I guess that's exactly what you cause when you decide to tease a person carrying crutches. Remember the last time you mocked someone who stuttered while speaking? Do you even know what are the consequences of Tourette syndrome? Do you know the excruciating pain they go through? No, most of us don't. When they endure all that and still manage to smile, why is that the society can't accept them? Please don't try to say that society accepts them. Having washrooms and seats reserved for them in universities and public transport is not inclusion. That is their right. When you don't stop your child from dating a disabled person, when you help a blind person cross a road, when you help a deaf person buy goods from a store, when you don't look at a paralyzed person with disgust, that's when inclusion happens. It's high time we stop preaching about this and start working on it. Next time you see an autistic person or any other disabled person, smile at them. Hug them. Tell them that they deserve the world because they never gave up. Thank you.